Fall in soldiers, welcome to episode 2 of the historical gaming series featuring the 2016 hit Ultimate General Civil War. Let's start with a recap of episode 1. In episode 1, Brigadier General Mac Longbeard captured the Union Fort on the Potomac River. and Following that victory, he had a swell of recruits flood his ranks. Mac Longbeard finds himself commanding roughly 3,000 men and one artillery detachment of eight six-pound cannons, all ready to die for the southern cause. Let's see where fate takes Brigadier General Mac Longbeard. After his first victory, we find ourselves in June 1861 in the first Manassas Campaign. Our setting is the eastern theater of the Civil War in the southern state of Virginia. What we basically have here are the Union forces commanded by Brigadier General Irvin McDowell and Robert Patterson advancing on the Southern Confederate National Capital, Richmond, Virginia. In order to take that capital, the Union forces need to first capture the rail center of the Manassas Junction. This junction is defended by Brigadier General PGT Bogard and Joseph E. Johnson, commander of the Army of the Shenandoah. This first Manassas campaign highlights the first bull run. And in order to be successful here, we are going to need to take advantage of the rail yards with one being able to ferry reinforcements to and from each of these two field armies commanded by Bogard and Johnson. And two, interesting tidbit here of information, the Union forces mainly considered inexperienced and some of these forces being commanded by Patterson are three month volunteers. They are nearing the end of their enlistments. We need to take advantage of those two weaknesses in order to be successful here. So let's take a look at our army or our campaign map. And what we have here are the main battle of First Bull Run and Newport News. If I scroll over to the right, you can see our intelligence service, and this gives us a report of the Union forces and our spies. Um, so we have some correspondence here. 529-1861, we have a captured message. Nothing noteworthy to report, except that Mac Longbeard has again beat our army, and we must again abandon our camps and withdraw. Sir, we need more able soldiers to fight this rebel. So our name is already being known to these Union forces, which is pretty damn cool. We have another captured message. 531, 1861. So two days later, providing 1,500 more recruits gives the Democrats' party more arguments to use against their prosecution of this war. When can we start having more positive results? So that's from Lieutenant General Wade Nelson. So th ripples are being sent through those Union ranks, and we need to destroy them. I don't want to get into the first major battle, the first bull run, so I'm going to start with this Newport News. What we basically have here the scenario is the Union forces are aggressively attempting to secure areas in Virginia. Their armies are occupying several towns before the local militia could take up arms against them. So they're just kind of, in a way, almost blitzkrieging the South. Um, the rebellion needs our assistance to defend a small town near Newport News. The feds are approaching from multiple directions with superior forces. We have to lead a portion of our troops and the local militias in order to repel these intruders. You can see the uh, bonuses here for victory, draw, and defeat. So let's go ahead and let's just ju jump right into it. So here we have the beginning of the battle. Battle of Newport News, June 15th, 1861. Basically, we have Union forces advancing on us, and we need to delay them. We don't know anything really about their army coming at us. We have one corps, two divisions with 10 brigades, 3,373 soldiers, and 10 guns. So what I'm going to do here is deploy, basically, and let's start the battle. So we have, Sir, it is very brave of you to freeze Lincoln's call to arms and join the Confederacy cause. Union is trying desperately to convince locals not to secede and is attempting an investment of Virginia with military forces. Oof. 
So they're trying to basically quell the south. And so we have a bunch of infantry approaching our town from three directions. Northwest. North. And northeast. So we need to defend this town and show the Yanks we're not uh, going to leave our lands undefended. So I can place... <clears throat> excuse me, guys. So I can place my units. Oh, this is pretty cool. So I kind of want to place them. I have to place them in this uh, square here. Paul Wag. wonder if I can rotate. Uh, not really. That's all right. So we have our supplies. Yeah, this this will work. Just move them back here. Cannons coming back. All right, let's start this battle. What I want to do first is get across this river. I'll deploy skirmishers first. So I'm gonna just detach these skirmishers. I need my artillery to get back into town. Well, my supplies getting back in the town as well. Uh, we need to fall back. Back Longbeard needs to fall back. Defend this area of town. So we're gonna get these skirmishers up. Well, I want the cavalry to defend the northern part of this town here. Long beard needs to fall back into the town. So they are defending here. We've got <coughs> roughly 2,300 men coming at us from the north, and who knows what's coming at us from these northwest and southeast or northeast, excuse me. We've got some artillery. These guys set up over here. I can see we're having so many men and only two um, cores here is kind of limiting. Me. I thought this might happen. It's going to fall back. Fall back. They're coming right away to chase us down. This is not good. But our cannons are hitting them. And they can pay. Aw, oh, damn. This artillery cannot be taking the brunt of this attack. I'm gonna have my cavalry wait in the back of the city. Just wait for a weakness. Let's get Longbeard up to reinforce these guys. Or get their morale back up. For whatever reason, yeah, their morale's really low. Going up pretty quick though, because Mac Longbeard's there. So as you can see, <clears throat> in the north we had to fall back fast. We still have 30 minutes before uh, I believe reinforcements are coming in. We got some skirmishers coming up here. Let's try to destroy them. <clears throat> These guys are crossing the river. They're getting routed. Yeah, they're getting routed here. So these skirmishers' morale is around 70%. It looks like we're being charged almost from behind. 
behind. I'm gonna get Mac beer, Mac Long beer here to fall back. I want them to charge those skirmishers. Let's do it. Why not? Yeah. Alright, the charge is paying off here. Alright, so Union Brigade spotted for coming from the west. Those skirmishers surrendered, hell yeah. Let's get them to withdraw. Get them out of here. Whatever amount of men we can get to fall back out of here, we'll take it. I want these skirmishers though to hit. They cannot take. Oh man, there's more cavalry coming. I need to fall back. So they're getting routed again. Need my uh, artillery to get back in the center of town. I don't like them being on the outskirts. I don't want them to be captured. Here. So these skirmishers are, uh, we're withdrawing them, we captured these guys as well. I'm just going to keep my uh, cavalry, it's just kind of like a, a roaming force until I can't. <laughs> they really don't want to give up the river though, I want them to pay for the river. So we'll just keep the skirmishers ready to move. Let's try to hit that cavalry. So they're forming up. I need these guys out. These guys to move into those defenses. <coughs> Alright, so we have some reinforcements, which is <laughs> awesome. All right, we've got quite a bit of men here. Let's, all right, they're charging. Oh no, they're charging. <clears throat> Let's form up. Johnson's coming in to help this attack. He's been formed up. Let's get that. We need a strong center right now. Our center's been we need to hold. Our mid is getting wrecked right now. These guys advance. We've got some more cannons moving up. Get them set up on the left flank. West. And we have more men coming from the northeast. Alright, we were not expecting that. Try to flank these cannons. So our right flank is going to crumble fast. I want these skirmishers to fall back. Attach back to Poag. So basically, what we need to do. No, no, no. Stay there. Oh, stay there. Oh, my cannons fall back. Stay down, beard. Alright, our center is crumbling right now. We need this to hold. Take out their artillery on the top left. As you can see, they're charging. They're coming in real close. We got about an hour to hold. That's what we need to do here. I 
and try to get some more men in support of the northeast. Alright, we're charging the cannons. I'm trying to roll this right flank, this northwestern flank here. It might collapse. Oh, Ag's holding. Good well. Need them set up and start firing now. Get my supplies. Get more. Safer lines, I think. I think I want to hit. Alright, so we're destroying their cannons on the north. This is great. Supplies are coming. Supplies are coming. So we're pushing them out and we're succeeding in the northwest. Alright, I want to move up Ewell and Bartow on this northwest flank. For my cavalry, yeah, cavalry needs to hit this cavalry from behind, and let's just keep hitting them. Let's do this. Let's go the outskirts of town. Let's go destroy that cavalry. They cannot be mobile anymore. We might just roll them here if we can kill them all. Yep, they're getting routed. Let's get Johnson in here. Skirmishers in the center of town. Bernard Lee, no! Uh, sacrifice. Had to be made. Losses. I don't want to lose all my mobility. Alright, we need to roll up on McDowell. He's exposed. We also need to help out the here. Alright, we're going to charge into him on the northeast. Pushing them off again. Heavens can hold on the ground. Alright, having the city here, those kind of urban combats really helping us stay alive. But Heavens needs to fall back. Alright, Calvary. Let's go roam up north, find that artillery, and wreck these fools. Hit McDowell again. Alright, so our northwestern flank is secure. I'm moving up leisure into the north part of town. We really need to focus on the north and northeast. And they have cannons in those woods, which I really want to... Uh, they got guys falling back. I'm not gonna hit them just yet. <clears throat> we can do is we can defend this farm right here. Though. Damn. Alright. Hey, Griffin. Charge that fool. Wreck havoc on him. So B fell back. They're rested, ready to get back in the fray. Set up a strong front on the north northeast of the city, with my artillery just sitting back, shelling his army from Pennsylvania here. Johnson's moving in. Longbeard's moving in. Gotta rally his troop support. And Stewart's up north, just doing what he needs to do. Killing their cannons, which is awesome. 
We're gonna set up more of a defensive perimeter and try to push this Union force back. Move our cannons up, get some more range. It's gonna take a while, but it's worth it. So we have more men that surrendered. <clears throat> Stuart surrendered. Those are the cannons up north. We are getting them to withdraw. But I have no idea where my... Um, where did my... Uh, let's get Grover up north for some supplies. I don't know where... Oh. That's my artillery. Why are they falling back? I don't know where my uh, cavalry went. That's a scary thing. Oh, more supplies, okay. And cavalry, infantry. I got some militia here. Let's roll up the right. More supplies, get them in. Get the middle of the city. Alright, we need to press this, uh. Oops. This, uh. Northwestern flank. And Poag needs to roll up on the right. Evans flung in the middle. Ooh, okay. We might be paying for this. Alright, so our militia. Let's try to hit this artillery up here. Stay way far off so they don't see us. Alright, we were hit with victory. Casualties inflicted. It was about three, thirty-five hundred. We only lost just under a thousand men. So what I told you, um, these Union forces were going to be a little inexperienced here. And we held the town. All goals completed. We have uh, Melvin Poag promoted to lieutenant colonel, which is great. All right, let's move on here. So we unlocked, we, all right, so we have some battle rewards here. Career points one, reputation plus four. We earned $56,000 and we uh, increased our manpower by 4,000. So we had uh, 224 prisoners exchanged for an additional 294 recruits. All right, so that minor Battle. We need to reconsolidate our forces and our losses here. Alright, so after upgrading my army and fulfilling my ranks again with all my losses, we have the first core under Brigadier General Mac Longbeard. We have first division, 3,000 soldiers, eight guns. We got some 12 pounder howitzers now. Upgraded to a second division as well, so we've got some more men. Uh, these are just, uh, these are gonna be rookies. We have 2,000 rookies. And I thought these were supposed to be vets. Yeah, these are all supposed to be vets. Okay. We have about... 5,000 men here, ready to go. Um, let's go back to the battle map. We're gonna hit our reports. Um, so 622, 1861. Confederates are victorious in Newport News, and General Mac Longbeard is threatening to flank us. Um, I'm apologizing that this happened, but we must we must withdraw north and fight him another day. Um, two days later, we have another captured message. President Lincoln is highly concerned about the lack of aggressiveness in the field. This continuous passivity has resulted in unnecessary losses that must re be replaced with 4,500 fresh recruits. So. We're facing inexperienced men here, and we, we need to take advantage of that in the first bull run. That'll be it for episode two of the historical gaming series. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. If you like the content, please be sure to hit that subscribe, follow button. I'd really appreciate it. Thanks. See you later, guys.